Hey everybody, welcome to Resolution. This was a game given to me by the developers, uh, Monolith of Minds, and also being published by Deck 13. This, I, straight up, I don't know anything about this game. I was told that it's like a brisk action adventure game that was made by two angry German brothers. That's what I was told, that's what I know, that's what we're doing. We're gonna figure it out, we're gonna just straight up into new game. If you're watching this video, the game is available on Steam right now. I believe it's like $22 Canadian, so adjust that for like your American prices or wherever you happen to be in the world. But I'm, I'm excited, dude. Okay, what do we have? Fading playground. Yo, 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 get the ball! Let's go! Get the ball, dude! <laughs> All right, okay. Let's go. Dude, just, just, just kick it in there. So I, I know nothing about this game. I wish I could tell you because, you know, it'll jumpstart the commentary a little bit, but I guess we're, we're playing like, I guess we're playing soccer or football, depending on what National Geographic that you, you know, you happen to align yourself win, with. I mean, personally, for me, it's always been soccer. Here's the thing when it comes to sports. I mean, Canada, like, we're pretty like, you know, I'm not going to say we're easygoing when it comes to sports, but I mean, we are pretty easygoing when it comes to sport. Where did this ball go? Yo, this kid has a hell of a leg. Like, a slight kick is enough to send it, like, across the entirety of the map. That's pretty aggressive, dude. Yo, yo, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, I don't know if we're playing against these guys, if this is, like, a tutorial, if there's something we're supposed to do. Yo, it's lined up, but of course it's not gonna make it. All right, I think this is how we do it. We gotta get ourselves a goal. And we have to do so while... That was a bad kick. That's fine. I'm, I'm Canadian. What do you want? We have to do so while friggin' Quasimodo and Els Morelda over here are just constantly trying to mess with my ball. But that's fine, dude. I'm gonna... Why they stopped? Also, this kid does not look well. What, what, what has happened? Dude, we lost the ball? Okay. So this is, um... Oh! Alright, so this is immediately going in a very different direction, which I was not expecting. And honestly, I'm kind of here for it. Hello, demon girl. I mean, who can't relate to this? You're out back playing soccer or football with your homies. And then next thing you know, you're teleported to an interdimensional glitch universe. Where I think a demon girl is trying to communicate with you. How do I like... There you go. Can you hear me? Oh, good. How do you feel? Can you move? Not liking this, dude. Is this like a Matrix situation? Am I plugged into the machine? <coughs> is that me? Oh my god, dude, we've like drastically leveled up. All right, so now we're now we're getting into it. Okay, so V is I'm assuming an inventory. Y is attack, and then you move with the arrow keys. Interesting. I'm assuming this is like one of those games that you want to be playing with a controller. But I mean, like I, as I always say, oh dude, I didn't mean to hit the robot. Unless you have to, in which case we're gonna hit every single robot. Okay. I gotta say, dude, I'm getting some like. You know, I love the aesthetic. I love the coloring. This looks actually very well done. Like, you know, the pixel art and everything is nice. The combat seems to be pretty decent so far, even though I haven't fought anything. But we're basically going to go with our basic instincts, which is to smash the hell out of everything that exists. And maybe you'll find, like, a dollar or something. Which, I don't know. Maybe that won't be, like, too useful for us in our current situation. But, I mean, a dollar is pretty good. This must all feel strange, I guess. I want to help. How can I help? Can you find me? I got respect for a game that, like, just kind of throws you in, you know? It's rare in the industry, I will say. I've, I've, these things exploded, and I, I fear that I have taken some damage before even finding anything, but... Are you a helpful robot, or are you a murderous robot? Well, we're never gonna find out, you know? But I got respect for a game that's like... We're not gonna tell you what to do. You're just gonna, you're just gonna start, and if you can figure it out, good. If you can't figure it out, you're on your own, dude. You seem lost. I think I can feel you. Watch it. Take it slow. Okay. Deep mindfulness meditation. Look at that. That's called speedrunning, dude. But I, I do get a lot of hyper light blaster like vibes from this game. I think it's it's you know it's hard not to when you got like the pistol the <laughs> the pixel aesthetic going pretty strong. But then also on top of that, I really don't want these things to pop and hurt me any any again. But also on top of that, you know the color palette is very reminiscent of it. But I, and honestly, this shouldn't surprise anybody, but I just want to see what's up there. Nothing? Okay. It's, this shouldn't surprise anybody. I haven't played that game either. 
Fairville, why do you not play so many games? Honestly, I think it puts me in a, like a unique situation where I can like look at games that are coming out now. Y'all, get back here, you evil Roomba! You know, look at games that are coming out now with a clean mind. You know, I'm not tainted by like, you know, the, the 9 out of 10s. It's a bomber, dude! Okay, we're good, we're good. HP is getting a little concerning, but I mean, really, we shouldn't have to like worry about it too much, y'all. Dude, what are you? They got the new Amazon droids in this universe. Awesome. Really happy for that. Maybe you could actually deliver some of my necessary uh, items at a reasonable amount of time. Fairful, can you like go one episode or one video where you don't attack Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos? Well, no, I can't go one episode or even one video without attacking Jeff Bezos. Yes, that's right. I mispronounce his name every single time. Why? Because I, should, I still don't know, really know how you're supposed to say it. And I don't have any respect for the 1% either. It's dark, can you see? I'm pretty sure we're dealing with like a Matrix situation. Yo, what do we get? Okay. We found potentially the source of the disembodied voice. Yes, I feel you. You're close. You seem calmer. Dude, of course I'm, I've been calmer. I've been, you know how many pots I've smashed? Is this it? No, that's just a big old beaker. I don't know what you are. But we're going to take you with us. And actually, we can't do that. Okay, that's fine too. Yo, it's a person. You, yo, okay, it's not it's not a good person. What do you got? You have a dash? Dude, you have a shield too? And you can throw like grenades? That's kind of a little... It's a little bit too much considering I just have like a, a swing. And I don't think anything else. Or do we even have a dodge? Alright. Combat's gonna be a little bit interesting moving forward, y'all. But we're getting to a purified state. Hello. What's the interact button? Of course, it's C. As I usually first assume, alibi. This is alibi. An exceptional access specialist, outlearning and outperforming the learning AI, the leading AI in encryption and hacking. She's the tip of the infinite empire spear, and you're going to carry that spear to the heart of the em enemy territory. She will dismantle the terrorist networks from within, assist her precisely. Let alibi guide you. You found me. Thank you. Sweet. Welcome to the family. I got no idea what's going on. I mean, I mean, I, we could kind of put it together. I guess there's like a, you know, classic Star Wars. You got the Resistance. You got the Empire. This place feels confusing. Are you confused, lady? I, you have no idea what's going through my head right now. Like, so we need more data? Should we keep exploring? Let's keep exploring. All right. So now we have Alibi. Doesn't seem like it does anything for us other than gives us this map, which isn't really a map. I like how it, like... How that's actually your health bar? That's actually a nice little touch there. I'm happy to see it. Okay. Okay. Dude, I got a lot of respect for the games. And, and you know what? They come up every once in a while. But they come up and they're like, yo. Ah, they explode, dude. We're good. Where it's like, we're not going to tell you what's going on. You know, it's... Yeah, we're going to have some exposition every once in a while. But that's just, to, you know, to keep up with the shareholders. Looks like remembering is painful for you. I can't help with the pain, but I might help make sense of everything. Dude, we got like an eternal sunshine of the spotless mind situation. Happy to see it. One of Jim Carrey's classical movies, honestly. Finding sources, building paths, symbols, project from dimensional displays and lines, blocks and shapes of multicolored code. Yep. She's done it. Oh, looks like it worked. Look at that. This... The, the, the portable AI supercomputer is able to reconstruct matter in any sense that we want. Beautiful. Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm liking this. And I'll, now I also have like a... Re what are these glitching sounds? I do, I'm not a huge fan of the like random like, you know, like that. Yeah, don't like that too much. But the world is being constructed at a very nice pace. Okay. I would like to... Try to figure out what is happening. By the way, the fact that this game was made by, like, two people. You love to see it, dude. Straight up. It's it's one of those things where, like, you know, I've... Not to brag, but, you know, my Twitter has been pretty popping lately. Thank you for everybody who follows me on Twitter. I appreciate it. But I've been followed by, like, a lot of game devs and stuff like that. For some reason. I guess they have nothing better to do, like, work on their passion projects. But I'm not gonna judge. And, like, when, whenever I see, like, can I get through this? Yo, AI lady, can you, like, deal with debris? Or can you only deal with, like, metaphysical, pixelated nonsense? That's a boomer. Okay, good. Really easy to fall into that joke. Um, 
But yeah, dude, whenever I see like a game being made by like one or two dudes, that's insane. Especially when it's made by by like two brothers. Cause I don't mean to say this in like, you know, uh in a weird way. I can't jump at all, huh? Okay, so this is obviously not where we're supposed to go. But I mean, can you imagine working with somebody for so long on a project? And like, what happens if you just start hating that person? <laughs> I, unfortunately, I think it happens like quite a bit. Yo, you could open this? What if we find a memorable face? Working with veterans, I notice painful memories are easy to access. Jesus. You survived a few fights? What's one that stands out? We have a map? We gotta go so far, dude. Cloud City, huh? Okay. I don't know how to close this. There we go. We're good, we're good. Okay, so at least we're given, like, some direction, I'm assuming, after me taking way too long to figure out what it is that we actually need to do. But there's also, like, nowhere to go. So I'm getting a little... confused. What about you? Are you a door that opens up? Probably should have checked that, like, immediately, honestly. That's my bad. Okay. As long as you guys are, like, good robots, I'm not gonna, like, disrupt you. But these things look like they're... Yeah, okay. So they might be on a little bit of the aggressive side. Oh, dude. They bounce, huh? Okay, they pretty bouncy. Combat is pretty, it feels pretty good. Come at me. No? You coward. Okay. Pop it up. Just keep moving, dude. Eventually, we'll get somewhere. It's pretty much my motto in life. Y'all, what do you got? I feel your pulse rising. Do you feel like you're in danger? You probably won't like this. I read your people's power file. There were a lot of redactions. What has happened in this world, dude? Maybe there's like... Okay, so you got like this classic Star Wars Empire versus Alliance thing. Look, I trust your intuition. But how am I supposed to access these terrorist networks if you don't access your memories? What do you want me to do, lady? Have you ever tried accessing your own memories? There's a reason why you bury them deep behind like, you know, shame, regression, and in some cases, copious amounts of alcohol. It's a basic human function. Okay, this looks important. Door number three, dude. What do you got for me? And it sounds like you don't want to fill in the blanks. That might be holding us back. Look, I get it. You know, you have like a... a oh! How do I do? Calmer. Deployed by people's power to protect the people. Useful for riot control. Hell yeah, dude. We have a gun. Choose item with V, aim with C, and fire with Y. Okay, that's a... That's a it's a fair way to lay out the controls, I assume. Couldn't be an easier way to do that, but sure, let me just let me just claw my hand real quick. Aim with C and fire with Y. Okay. Okay, so Y would be default slash, but if you hold down C, you have a gun. I'm liking this. Okay, let's see. Let me look for samples. What do you find at Alibi? This probably isn't your favorite thing, having someone dig around for patterns in your past. No. Thanks for waiting. You know what, at least she's kind of considerate, dude. That gets you, like, pretty far in life. Alright. We have a gun. I have a slash. And apparently, I'm, like, very inadequate. Or even, maybe, potentially afraid of my own past. I don't want this game to be, like, a self-reliance thing. How do I open up a... That's gun button. That's inventory. Yo, I want to try gun. Alright, hold on. Trying gun is going to be hard. Skirt! Yo! It has a hell of a spread. Where are you? Just, just take care of it. Take care of it. You're good. You're good. Okay. It's, it's gonna take some getting used to for sure. Because I think like if I'm playing with the, unless I'm, unless I'm playing with a keyboard or a controller, there are just some directions I don't think I could like aim for. Which you know, is it a little bit annoying? Sure. But you just have to make sure that your boys are on like the proper accesses here, and you're good to go. I could also very much use some HP. Because while I was trying to figure out mechanics in the game, I've been hit like a copious amount of time. And I'm pretty sure one more is probably going to kill me. Yeah, okay. Ah! Yo, I have a ghost. Get back up, dude. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. A little bit of a learning curve. But I got to say, man, the ambiance and like... You know, the, the, the passive storytelling of the game is it's kinda it's keeping me like interested in more. You guys bounce like way too much, dude. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I'm really hoping that I'm oh dude. 
I don't know what this is, but I just don't want to be here when it splurges all over the place. You know, I, if, if, if there's like a dodge button that I'm missing in the game, I apologize. I really do. With that being said, if there's a dodge button that's somewhere hidden in this game, I'm assuming it's like tied to like a weird button. And I'm just never going to find it naturally. So, you know. Yo, this dude has, okay, a big hammer. Easy. So what do you do with this? You get away. You reclaw your hand so that you can have the gun button ready. And then you just shoot. But also there's like a boy who's like taking some pock shots at you. And honestly, I don't respect that. Okay, get away. Clear out the bouncers, dude. The bouncers are probably more annoying than these guys who have like a patternable AoE that they put down. Now you hold down C, and now you blast, dude. Okay, you have like way more range than I thought you did. This is getting, dude, it's spicy. Go in for a swipe, get away. Go in for a swipe, get away. Go in for a swipe, get away. Go in for a swipe, you get away. And then what do you do? You go in for a swipe. I think they're hurting each other. They gave up. Do you not have to kill enemies? I think you might be able to just like, not kill enemies. Okay, well first things first, you gotta go. Also, my HP is not ready for this. I wanna try this, so putting in damage, it looks like enemies kind of like surrender. Oh, you monster. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. I got it. The, the glowing is like a little bit of a safe space. Look, you might be saying like, you just learn how to dodge. There's no dodge button, dude. We're at, we're in this, like, we're in this and we're in this. These enemies are dead. Which means that, okay, there might be like constant progression. I'm interested in seeing this. If we don't have to kill enemies, maybe that'll affect the story too. And maybe, sure, I'm grasping at straws here, but... <coughs> the fact that you die and go back to your spawn point and all the enemies don't respawn means that there's some weird stuff going on. I, I do want to figure it out. Okay, there's a lot more here now. See, that dude, he's not dead. But he's just kind of like, he kind of gave up. Yo, let's go. Yo, but there are healer bots. Okay, he's absolutely dead. I mean, they're pretty dead. You know they're dead when, they cut, when you cut them in half. See, like right now, these enemies are done. But if I hit them one more time, they like actually die. So maybe, maybe, if you're one of those Undertale freaks, you could be like, oh, so this game has a pacifist route. I don't know, dude. I have no freaking clue. But I'm into it. Alright. So then let's try to, like, preserve some enemies, I guess. Is a, it's a weird way of saying it, but let's just try doing, like, a non-kill-everything route. Route, he says. I know, we're not gonna... Look, we're probably not gonna be able to play through the entirety of this game in this one video, but... Yeah, I had a feeling something was up there, just based on the fact that, you know... It's a platform in the middle of nowhere with a lot of intricate designs on it, and, you know, it seems kind of weird based on, like, you know, the aesthetic of the rest of the game. This is... Oh, dude, this is... This is messing with my brain a bit. I have a good feeling about us. Does that sound funny? Hey, look, we've made it this far. Thank you, Valor. I couldn't do this alone. You know what? I think I might simp for, Ab or for Alibi. What are you? Is this, a, is this an actual bonfire? I don't know if this is an actual bonfire, but it seems that I cannot interact with it. Given the four buttons that have been told to me that you have to use to play this game. It's an interesting one. Oh, dude, maybe you could climb up this wall, but you can't because there's a bonfire in the way. Okay, a little bit of a, a comeback for later, por favor. Okay, let's try not killing anything. And this looks like a boss. Oh yeah, dude, you got boss written all over you. Halo, I can see you upgraded the other arm too. In fact, there's not a lot of much organic material left at all. You're all bottle and no ketchup. It's a weird way to put it, but you know what? I, I respect you trying to be PG-13. But hey, I got a new Augs as well. I got new Augs as well, baby. It's augmentations. Let me show you some sweet revenge. Okay, first things first. You're not killing, but you're disabling. Oh, okay. Well, this dude has like a quite a big gun. Okay, that's fine. He bounces. He bounces. Good. All right. Healers are dead. Nope, nope, nope. You gotta, like, really wait to take a shot on this dude, huh? Okay, bouncy boys. Easy. One, two. And then he dashes, and then he shoots. It might be randomized, dude. Okay, okay. Good. Keep it going. I'm not a huge fan of this. He's, he's, he, dude, he's putting in, like, a lot of work. But one hit is one hit. Three. Good. Tried to get greedy there. Keep, yeah, this attack is a free hit, and I'm here for it. 
He's, he's, we're getting some damage in. Three. You could get in. Now, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him, dude. We just want to make him have a really bad day and make him understand that whatever pass that we have, it doesn't really necessarily carry on to me as a player. Let's go. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's right, baby. Again? Well, at least I got the girl in the end. Ha 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 ha. Oh, dude, I was going to spare you anyway. You didn't have to run away, you coward. I like this game. What are you? A, n a new gun? That I have to press C to pick up? Screen tearing. You've been approved for infinite empire augmentation. They increase movement and reaction time. Stabilizing drugs are provided via neck injection. Sweet. Accelerate movement by holding X. Oh my god, I have a run? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's, you are correct in calling that accelerated movement. That's like Superman speed. I love it. But we can we can only do it for like two seconds and then we're like out of energy. You all right? You're all right. Well, all right. Okay. It's a good first step. Finding these memories and facing them means a lot. With enough, I'll be able to recognize patterns in the cradle network. We can stop these attacks before they get worse. Down the rabbit hole we go. This is probably going to hurt. But I think we'll be all right, yeah. How does like an AI have so much personality in this game? It's it's really well written, dude. She's just like trying to have a good time. Look at that, turbo speed running, baby, okay. All right, I know we're like a few, you were like pretty far in. Hello, witness chat. One, one prosperity, one economy, one humanity, brother. One, one, one. Welcome to the library, okay? What do you got? I don't want to, like, accidentally hit them. Can you only talk to the ones that have, like, a thing around it? Yeah, you just wait. Witness Farrock. Witness Farrock! Checking for updates. Western Resistance Group tried to breach our archives. History sections? Our archives history sections. Checking for updates. Oh, just check my feed. You're on it. Checking for updates. All right, dude, I like... You know, one day I hope to be plugged in eternally to, like, you know, the machine. Whatever that may be. Witness Benson went outside to collect... I can't, like... I, I, I get it that it's a title, but I can't read their names without thinking of Mad Max. Looked concerned. He's late for Scrabble. Sound worried. Aw. You think he got lost? Took off the distance or eaten by that sand monster? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. What, what, what a weird world that these two angry German brothers have constructed for ourselves here. What do we have, dude? There's, so it's like an eternal library where like witnesses can plug themselves in to the to the to the dreaming cloud. Y'all, okay, you look important or evil or potentially both. Really, I don't know. Order, chaos. He's the preserver. When we set healthy limits on our overwhelming flow of information, humanity survives. Reference B one six six two to G zero zero nine eight. Of course, with limits, there resistance. Resistance is healthy. Boundaries need testing. Left self, please. Shows us where to focus. Head west. Stop the resistance group from spoiling our work. They're armed. Hold transaction. Continue. Got it. Simple, easy. We're good to go, dude. Okay, so I get it. I get it. So we're on a we're on a we're on a quest to destroy the resistance or help the resistance. I don't really know what side we're on. Usually you're, you know, usually the resistance might not be a good time, but at the same time, I mean like, you know, who cares? Get rid of these crates that have been piled up for I don't know any reason other than to slow us down, but nothing's going to slow down progress, baby. Hey Abigail, not Ab Abigail. Alibi. Is there any way that you could de like fragment this so I could get through? I'm assuming not, huh? There's got to be like another way that we're missing hmm okay okay i don't know how to open up the map either because that's like just something that's like kind of all over the place but i really don't want to press like a whole bunch of random buttons in order to figure it out honestly because that's not really the type of person i am i like having my buttons being simple oh yeah straight down that makes sense okay whoopsie daisy all right we're good dude so from what i've gathered we have like an ai that could bring down the resistance or help the resistance i don't know Either way, whatever side we're on, we're going to stop the other side from doing whatever they want to do. Why? Who knows? Up one, two down, three jump, to one. These resistance groups just don't share our values. Okay, we want to stop the resistance. Maybe along the way we'll find out the resistance isn't that bad. Maybe along the way we'll find out the resistance is like super bad. 
and like absolutely has to get his stuff together, which is why we're on this quest. Honestly, dude, I have no idea where this story could go, but I'm actually down for it. So I wanted like, oh my sweet god, it's a cat. You want to deal with that, huh? You gonna follow me? Okay, it's 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 very much following me. <laughs> Yo, dude, it goes through the rocks. Oh my god. Okay, so um, I mean we're fine. This is fine. You can't catch me if I sonic my way out, dude. Let's go. No, oh, I could go downstairs. This is like very. Oh, it's actually a cat. I, dude, I better be finding a way out of this. Oh, he's done it. What's that, you coward? Oh, you running back to your spawn location? I don't think so. Dude, that looks like a nose, man. Whoo! Okay. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive when your boy is able to defeat a, a, a giant, monstrous, evil cat demon that lives within the sands. No pressure or anything, but I just want to say, sign me up for something a little bit more difficult. Dude, I swear, if there is a mercy system in the game, that cat's getting no mercy. It's going down. Honestly, I'm getting a little bored here. What do you want from me, dude? I'm doing my best. Alibi. Go faster. We don't need another war. Alright, well, you don't have to put, like, more unnecessary pressure on me. But I think... I think we're gonna wrap it up relatively soon. Unless there's something incredible within this door. Or this door. We're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> There's a lot of mystery to unravel. There's a lot of uh, interesting places to see for sure. Uh, this is Resolution. If you like the episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Of course, if you wanna see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button, join the Fade Tribe. My name is Fairville. Thank you to the developers for giving me a copy of the game. Uh, it's really cool. And there's, I, I feel like there's a lot in here. Available right now on Steam, on the 28th. You go out there, you buy it, you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, baby.